Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to today's tutorial on the basics of cycles. Now, this is going to be part one of a two-part tutorial. On um, the first part, I'm going to uh, basically show you how to set up a simple scene, um, a simple material, a simple lighting, stuff like that. And then in the second half, I'm going to show you how to use the node editor. And that's where cycles really shines, is the node editor and how many possibilities there are and how expansive it is. Um, but in order to get there, you're gonna have to learn the basics first. So I'm gonna assume you know the basics of Blender, you know the hotkey, stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a very simple scene, uh, I'm gonna add a plane, I'm gonna add a monkey, I'm gonna subsurf the monkey, and then I'm gonna shade it smooth. Now, another thing you wanna do before you start this tutorial is go over here to device and, under the render tab and make sure that's set to GPU compute if possible. Um, if that's not there, then go to File, User Preferences, and then under System, make sure your graphics card is selected, and then Save User Settings. Um, this will just make it a lot faster. So if we go down here and then change this to Rendered View, you can see we have some basic lighting to our setup. Um, and that's just coming from the sky. If we go over to the Scene tab and change that, um, I can make this brighter, darker, I can make it green, whatever. Uh, I'm going to drop the saturation and I'm going to set it back to like where it was before. Um, now we're going to add some lighting. Now a lot of people, if they're used to Blender internal render, will add a lamp, a point, or really any kind of render. They'll add a point light and they'll call it a day. But in reality, real light is not emitted from a point in space it's emitted from a surface that's just even if it's just a little more than a point in space it's still a surface and it makes all the difference so this is not physically accurate so we're going to delete that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to light it with a plane so i'm going to add a plane and i'm going to scale it up and we're going to use this as our light now if i go over to the material tab and add a new material let's name this light you can see by surface there's something called diffuse BSDF. And now that's a diffuse shader. The way Cycles works is you build a material by using shaders. Right now, this material is just being built by one shader, which is diffuse. Um, and I'll show you what that is in a second, but we're gonna change that to emission. And if we go back to the rendered view, you can see it's now emitting light onto our scene. And I'm gonna set that strength to about two to make it brighter. But if you look at our scene now, you can see what I was talking about by a diffuse shader because everything is set to diffuse by default. And all diffuse is, is it's a simple color and then lighting. So if we select our monkey, and let's name this material monkey after we add it. Um, and if I were to change this color to like, I don't know, this golden color. Um, I mean, you can see what a diffuse material is. It's just really simple. It's just flat shading, basically. Uh, and, but there's other shaders. There's there's glossy shader, which is this reflective shader. There's refraction, which is the inside part of like water or glass. And there's a preset glass shader, which is a mixture between refraction and glossy. But say we wanted to get something a little more complicated than just this glossy uh, material. Say we wanted to make something more like porcelain, where it's sort of reflective, but there's also that strong color. Um, in order to do that, we're gonna have to mix two shaders together. So we're gonna add in a mix shader. Uh, let's see if I can find that. Okay, we're gonna add in a mix shader. And that allows us to mix two shaders together. So our first shader is going to be a diffuse shader. And we're gonna set that to our golden color. Now it's gonna be dark, don't worry. That's because right now we don't have the second shader in, so it's just mixing it with black, making it darker. Um, and then our second shader is going to be glossy. And let's just drop that roughness down to zero. Roughness is the roughness of the reflection, so like the blurriness of it. Um, but we're gonna, we don't want it to be blurry at all. But what the mix shader allows you to do is it allows you to mix between uh, diffuse and glossy by using this slider. So if zero is diffuse and then glossy is 100% glossy. Now if we were to set this to something like here, that looks sort of okay, but it still looks really fake. And that is because in real life, we use something called a Fresnel value, which basically means this uh, 
parts that are facing you more are going to be less reflective than the parts that are facing away from you. Um, you can see this right now by taking your phone out of your pocket. Um, look directly at your phone and you'll see it's black. It's more black and less reflective than if you were to tilt it slightly away from you. And the more you tilt it, the more stronger the reflection comes until you get until it's almost perpendicular with your view and it gets you can see the reflections are really crisp and there's almost no tinting to it and that's what a Fresnel value is um, and so we're gonna plug in our Fresnel value to mix between glossy and diffuse so click this little dot by the factor value Oops. and by all the way down by the bottom we're gonna change this to Fresnel and as you can see uh, where the image is coming out black it's less reflective and where the image is coming out white it's more reflective um, so now we have our little porcelain glossy material set up let's add an image texture so if we click the little dot by the color input we can change this to image texture and now it's purple by default so just ignore that and go to your whoops texture folder and I'm gonna drop in oops, excuse me I'm gonna drop in this Okami texture that I made for the Okami Sumi E shader tutorial now it's just gray we there's no definition in this color whatsoever so and that is because we don't have any uh, texture coordinates yet so we can either use UVs if we have it but I'm just gonna use generated so if I go down here to vector for under the diffuse shader in the image if I go down to the vector and I change this to generated under texture coordinate you can see we get our texture now that's very simple um, it's a very simple shader and that gives you the basics of how to use cycle shader and how to set one up um, nothing's really more complicated than this so that's it for this tutorial um, the next part will be coming in a week or two, whenever I get around to it. And if you have any comments or ideas for future tutorials, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to send me a message. And I will see you next tutorial.